So it's June now, and I know that June is Pride Month, and I was wondering if maybe you had anything you wanted to say. Anything maybe you felt like you could trust me with, any, any secrets that have been kind of eating at you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not exactly a secret or anything, but I am asexual. And I know that there's lots of confusion around that term. So if you have any questions about asexuality that you wanted to ask anyone, I'd feel free to answer them. But know that asexuality is a pretty big spectrum. And there's lots of different perspectives from people who experience asexuality differently. Asexual? You mean, like, ace? I mean, I get it. He's, he's a good-looking guy. But I didn't know that there were people whose whole sexuality revolved around him. You mean this guy, right? Ace Hardlight fans, you know what's really messy? Trying to figure out whether or not this game is canon. I don't blame you. He is, he is a pretty good looking guy. Yeah, I could see it. I have a lot of questions about the image that you just showed me. First and foremost being, why do you have a picture of Ace Hardlight just on you at all times? It's kind of odd. Um, but second of all, I am asexual, not ace-sexual. I do not have a sexuality that revolves around either Ace Hardlight, the fictional character, or people who look like Ace Hardlight. I am someone who, at the very least in my case, has very few moments where I experience sexual attraction to other people and sexual desires. And asexuality is the sexuality, it's the generic term for people who experience either no sexual desire or attraction, or very little sexual desire or attraction to others. And I would love to know if you have any questions about that. I mean, why are you, why are you kink shaming me over Ace? He's so good looking. Even if he is, you know, kind of possibly a furry and absolutely fictional. He's just a good looking guy. But I do have questions and concerns about you being ace. First, like, why do you date people, especially people who aren't ace, if you are ace? And what, how does that affect your relationship with them? Because, you know, sex is a pretty important part of romantic relationships to, at the very least, a lot of people. And, like, I've just, I've just got questions, and lots of these questions are going to invade your privacy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this conversation. I'm going to use your apparent sexual attraction to Ace to demonstrate something for the purpose of this conversation. Would you date Ace and have sex with him? Or would you just have sex with him? Because if you would just have sex with him, then you are not feeling romantic attraction to him. Which makes sense, because throughout most of that game, he is definitely a bad guy. And then some stuff happens, which I guess is kind of a minor spoiler. But I'm not going to say what stuff happens in that game. Although it's one of my favorite Ratchet and Clank games. But you probably understand the difference between romantic and sexual attraction just by using Ace. And I'm capable of experiencing romantic attraction, but there are people who are capable of experiencing neither. And then there's people who are incapable of experiencing sexual attraction. And those are people, some of the people, who are asexual. People who are aromantic are incapable of experiencing or experience very little romantic attraction. And they may or may not experience sexual attraction. But, you see, we can have conversations about these things that are understandable without having to dive into our own past and without having to minimize the impact of our previous romantic and or sexual partners. I think it's very important and I think it's something that we should talk about more openly and more honestly, especially if we are people who are in this group, such as asexuals, who have a hard time talking about this because we're worried that our words are going to have an impact or they're going to say something about our previous romantic and possibly, or possibly, sexual partners. And it's important that we stop talking about things in that way. And it's important that we stop letting other people control this conversation and make us feel nervous about it. Alright, I'm going to give you credit. You know, Ace isn't really boyfriend material. 
I would absolutely hit it, but that doesn't mean that I'd want him to spend the night in my bed. So, so I get what you're saying. And now I'm curious, since you are an asexual person who's obviously capable of talking about this and feels comfortable doing so, are you going to talk about it more? Because, you know, it is still Pride Month. So there's at the very least a whole month for you to make content that talks about this and for you to talk about different things like asexuals and the media or asexuals and pride. And I know lots of people who would be super interested in you talking about those things. Don't worry, dude, bro. This was a fascinating conversation and I'm happy that you were able to reveal something private about yourself. And I'm looking forward to having more of these conversations with you. Asexual erasure is absolutely a thing that happens a lot, and so we're definitely going to talk about that and its connection to pride. And we're also going to be talking about a wide range of other issues, and I'm looking forward to having more conversations with you about these things. Also, we're probably going to talk about ace again. Not, not A, just the letter, but A-C-E, because I feel like we should probably continue to talk about that. I've got... I've got questions.